Hey guys, this is Project EAE here, and um, I guess this is a uh, a uh, update video and um, slash loot video. <laughs> um, been a little bit busy lately, so I haven't had really a lot of time for um, practicing editing work or or gunpla or watching catching up on I guess episodes of favorite shows, um, the reviews, like anything really. But um. Um, I guess uh, I have some time now. We work's starting to slow down, so I can actually finally have some time for stuff. But um, I just got back from picking up uh, God of War 3, the Ultimate Edition. Um, fortunately, my projector system is on the, on the, I guess, has a few bugs right now. So I'm waiting on some new parts for a screen and also a new lamp, uh, replacement lamp and stuff. But anyways, um, I haven't opened it yet, but I'll have a separate video for that later. But I thought I'd, you know, tease people. <laughs> Um, but I did have a few packages waiting for me, so I thought I'd do a video of that. And, um, unfortunately, since I've been busy, um, anything I had previously, um, I did not, I have not got a chance to really work on, so I have, um, quite a bit of stuff to, uh, work on, review, what have you, so, um, but I guess let's go over what I picked up, right? <laughs> Um, I, uh, picked up a CB base, nothing new, I mean, they've been around, but I thought, I guess, um, someone, I guess, brought up an interesting concept and idea, so I'm going to try a little project, which is why I have two. One's for, um, my XN riser, which, uh, God, i got to finish editing that, ed editing that review and slash video soon. Um, but, say it two the same exact, you know, white with, uh, clear, uh, action base extensions. Then I force a regular one. That is actually for my Red Frame Kai. I got oh, Red Frame Kai, yay! But um, that is for that because um, while I could get a red one, I figured you know it's already Red Frame and everything. It might kind of like I guess take away from it for photos or aesthetic viewing purposes or what have you. So I thought white, black, or clear would be good. And black was super super cheap at the time, so I figured you know why the hell not? Um, and an SMS base, of course, for um. My Brave Stir, my VF27. Um, fortunately, that unfortunately that is the only um, action-based Macross Frontier related right now out. Um, Brave Stern was from the Macross Galaxy, I believe. So he wasn't part of SMS. He was part of, I guess, whatever his security crew is, whatever over there um, before the whole Vajra um, infestation invasion thing, going on, corruption thing. So, um, I'm, but I'm sure, of course, when the movie and some additional releases, I'm sure there'll be a base and I'll go, son of a, you know, yeah. Um, and probably buy that instead. <laughs> but, um, it's, but, hey, it's it's themed, so it works. And it'll fit it, so yay. And to go with the Kai, I actually picked up some uh, of the B-Club manipulators. Uh, since, actually, I pre-ordered my um, Red Frame Kai from AmiAmi, and um, all together is actually, I think, a little bit over 50, maybe 50, 57 because um, uh, there was like a 30 or 30 something percent off on that end, half on sh half up shipping, and uh, these were on sale too. So I thought, figured I'd, you know, since no one else I know is trying the uh, manipulators, I'd try them. And so far, um, I don't know how, well, they're in package, but I don't know if they can be caught, but they're really detailed looking. And um, while they will be a pain to, uh, a pain to paint, um, I have to find the red paint to complement since, you know, I don't like stickers and decal stickers and stuff, so um, I have to find the red for that, and plus I have another reason for looking for red, because before the Red Frame Kai came out, or even was even announced, I um, planned on working on a combination with uh, the uh, high-grade Red Frame and the Force Impulse. Um, this is actually after I saw a review about with the 1100 no-grade Red Frame on Prime 92's channel. And um, if anybody saw that review, or those reviews, then they kind of already can guess what I'm going to try to do. And I hope it works out, because if it does, I would that would be really, really awesome. And to go with it, um, a while back, B-Club did make manipulators for the um, astray frames as well, the blue frames specifically. Um, they're out, of course. <laughs> but um, these are seed... Uh, these are strike freedom? No, these are just regular freedom. Strike, regular freedom hand manipulators. One one forty fourth scale. They fit. They're the same scale. They fit the right ball joint size. And everything. Um, of course, paint is required, and um, I will have to mod, especially the hand guards. But it's doable, and I think uh, hopefully, if um, I don't mess up, it will turn out really well. So hopefully, I'll have something nice to show you guys. Besides, I also picked up the Goof uh, flight type. 
and the Ground War set from the 08 MS team, um, which I've been really wanting to get for a long time because one, the uh, ARC-79 Ground War set version is a high grade, uh, actually high grade UC version, um, and it comes like loaded, and it's an awesome design, and the show is, you know, awesome. Um, the flight type, I'm not a big fan of all goofs, but um, I really like, I don't know why, maybe it's the fact that the flight type just looks like loaded, you know, and ready to, you know, kick ass and stuff, so. But um, there's that, and then um, with, of course, a set with HLJ and Bandai's, you know, recent more and more love for um, Gundam Wing, I decided to pick up the Nitaku. Um, that and also a side project. I picked up a, a, scan, a few scans from a friend on a, a few forums about um, uh, Gunpla modding. So I thought I'd try my hand at it and see if I can, I guess, modernize the Nataku before, you know, they rip out a high grade on us. Or a, uh, I guess, a modernized high grade. So we'll see how that turns out. And if not, well, it was, you know, I think eight, seven bucks. So, you know, yay. Uh, there's the Arbalist. Um, I have the ARX-8. This is ARX-7. I will be doing a review on that, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, Hobby Search a while back had a set, actually it's still going on, the... EVA-01 new new movie edition, the Awakened version. It's kind of after Berserk mode and everything. Um, and it was cheap. I think it was 1,200 yen. Normally these are, I think, uh, 2,100 yen, so yay. And, of course, I picked up the uh, new movie regular version, which uh, comes with, you know, awesome-looking swords and a whole bunch of stuff for Unit 02, which is really expensive these days. So hopefully maybe I can get a hold of that, or the Berserk unit at least, um, Beast Mode. And then, of course, I picked up, uh, yeah, with Amazon's, you know, you know, mucho love for uh, Blu-rays lately, Ghost in the Shell 2.0, and the Evangelion 1.11 uh, Blu-ray, You Are Not Alone. Unfortunately, I hear really good things about uh, the 2.0, which is uh, You Cannot Advance, which is, like, more action-enthused and has a lot, new st a lot more new stuff. But um, from what I understand, it's not released uh, due to release a lot of... Uh, well, it's not due to release any, I guess, the U Region 1 North America stuff until for quite some time. So, I guess uh, I have a lot of stuff to keep me busy in the meantime. Oh, we forgot. And, of course, I picked up the uh, Mini Revel Techs um, series of the AVAs. Unit 01, 00, the weapon set, which comes with the, um, let me think, I think, uh, the uh, e AS, EVS shield, RS, uh, the big shield, um, the swords, a big awesome Gatling gun, or mini gun, no it's a Gatling gun, and of course the Positron rifle, which is like an oversized sci-fi based sniper rifle, which is pretty sweet. So, um, and I hear, and you know, it wasn't too much, so hopefully a good review on that will be, you know, really nice. So I have a lot of stuff to review, um, and that's just like, I guess on the Gunpla, across the, sh the ocean, shipments imported goods kind of thing going on. Um, besides from that, we also have a few more things. Um, hang on one sec. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, with the Iron Man 2 video, there was actually quite a bit of new procurements. Um, so I have a lot of reviews. Some I've done already, but still quite a bit. So I'll have a, quite a bit of reviews to do soon enough. So there's that, and also I've been meaning to do a custom review for the, my I guess, the three and a three-quarter inch version of the movie-accurate uh, Mark VI, which um, kind of doesn't exist, really. I mean, this is the Mark VI itself, and then this is the actual Mark VI as depicted in the film. So, yeah, as you can see, um, if you compare it with the Mark uh, IV there, it's obviously mostly just a torso swap. Everything else is pretty much the same. Legs, arm, the whole nine. But um, there's small, small, I guess, minor detail changes. But we'll go over that in the review. But I have, but as you can see, um, there's been quite a bit of stuff going on. So hopefully, um, with this week, since I have a few extra more days off from work than uh, usual, I'll have some time to do, you know, gunpla work, catch up on anime, uh, do some videos, editing, finishing up videos, doing some new reviews, you know, the whole nine. So um, packed week. So um, look forward to it, huh? Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys at the next video, alright? Later.